uh, first let's add a storage server and before adding that uh, login to Jenkins and install some plugins uh, under manage Jenkins manage plugins available plugins look for SSH and then uh, look for git and pipeline we need credentials plugin to store credentials so check this one check this block check this box so it's going to install all the plan all the plugins we just checked in so meanwhile uh, we can log into storage server bs the user to install some inside anything in this server so in order to run jenkins we need to have java in it so if i do java iphone version just enter java otherwise so it says command not found so let's install that m install java iphone 17 iphone open jdk which is why so this command is going to install java in it once you install java if you type java again at this time it didn't say uh, a command not found even you can check java version with uh, java version so we install java in it so let's jump into jenkins click on manage jenkins Click on credentials. Now here we're gonna add a uh, storage server credentials. That's a username Natasha and password. Uh, and I'm gonna identify this as Natasha. Then create. Then manage Jenkins again. I click on manage nodes add an add new node a uh, node name uh, should be asked for the task storage server with uh, both capital yes click on permanent and we need to use slash var www slash html and we're gonna label it as stst or zero one launch agent by ssh we can choose only build jobs with the labels and then ststor01 this is the host name for storage server and uh, we're going to use credentials we just created and here you can click on manually trusted verification key strategy or non-verified so i'm going to go with manually trusted key verification strategy and save click on storage server again if i click on launch he's inside now i'm gonna get, get an error yeah if you if you look at this error it says java version it was fine but it was trying to copy the latest remote jar file to this location slash var slash www slash install because we use this as a root directory but it says permission denied whenever you get any error just look at uh, closely at that error so you will find much information in it so it says the user doesn't have sufficient permissions on this directory so if you jump back to this directory then if i do uh, get into that where www if i do ls if i do ls if an l i can see that this directory is owned by saraha so we are connecting uh connecting to that uh, storage server is Natasha so just change the ownership permission for this directory ch4 and recursively then change it to Natasha on this directory 
if i do ls hyphen l now i can see this data is owned by natasha and group salha so if we jump into service uh, jenkins again click on launch agent now this time start in this is a unix server we are able to uh, connect this uh, connect to this agent now so if we jump back over here uh, notes we could see some bits and free space so it's been up now then once you are done with these uh, nodes node server a slave then it says that apache is running on port 8080 let's click on up here okay, that looks fine now jump into this directory do ls let's remove this index just to get confirmation we just remove that if you refresh here you don't see that uh, welcome to nginx welcome to our uh, ex exclusion cup sorry now let's build the job the job name should be this one and it must not be multi-branch pipeline so make sure it should not be a multi-branch one you can create job and it's going to be pipeline okay then it says that we need to replace that var www.html with our code that we're gonna copy click on git here and uh, log in with the credentials i already did and uh, i do have this url so let's do that again that's fine then jump into your job again scroll down and uh, it says pipeline script i already made the script so here just you just need to change this uh, repository once you log into that git here you can you can get that uh, repo url and this one is fine with that so you don't need to change it except this you don't need to change and we label it as uh, our, our our slave as uh, stst01 so just replace the uh, label this one is fine but if in real time if you if you work on a real project if you are to do something then make sure to put the right table right labels in your project so paste it apply save if we refresh this page app one we're still gonna get the same thing but once you run the job let's build it Then you're gonna get that welcome to exclusion co-op something. Still building. You can check the logs as well. And then output. So it says running on storage server and under this workspace. Okay, that looks fine. It says no such directory test job. Okay, okay, okay. My bad. I just need to change uh, the directory name to this one. Configure pipeline and uh, just change. Now we can say welcome to Exxon Corps of Industries. And we are done with that. So let's check the task with us now. been successful thank you for